the book is about gratitude. So yes. like you, you better knock this one out of the park. This is a big one. Okay. So what, like when you, when you hear the term gratitude, like what does that even mean? I feel like a lot of pressure here, but I, and I will say that it is a ton of pressure, but I will say, um, you know, I, I write books, not because I have all the answers, but because I want answers. Mm -hmm. And so it was really so fun for me to take this deep dive on what is gratitude? Why should we be practicing it? How is it going to impact um, our learning communities? And so what I, what I kind of came to understand is it's like this recognizing and appreciating something in your life. Mm -hmm. And then what my deep dive kind of revealed, and I looked at the science and the experts and Dr. Robert Emmons talks about like, yes, it's that, but it's also acknowledging that the external and a lot of times it's people are kind of what bring that positive to us. So like something good mm -hmm. has happened. And yes, sometimes it is ourselves, but a lot of times it's other people helping right. us in big or small ways. And so to me, that was like the really interesting thing because learning is very social. Our learning communities are connected. It's all about relationships, right? Yep. And so that was really something I wanted to dive deeper into. And, and I think, and this is, this is, we were kind of talking about this when the book was going on. Cause I think a lot of times people here are like, oh, gratitude this is like fluff. Stuff, right and like right. i'm just calling what it is right sure. yeah and one of the conversations that we said is like hey you have to show how this actually improves learning it's not like just a. it's just not just like oh i'm like really into gratitude and i think it's important it's like hey this is actually beneficial to, to kids learning and now that now this is not one of the questions but like can you give us an example of something that you found that's like hey this is actually this is why it's beneficial to learning in schools yeah. So gosh, there's a few things I'm going to try and articulate. Only do one well. because this is a teaser. Fine. Okay, fine. You got to um, get the book to get all the other parts. A lot of pressure. Um, I, I would even just say looking at the neuroscience of mm -hmm. when you're experiencing gratitude and that serotonin and dopamine that's released, like, and, and I know Sean Aker talks about this, like mm -hmm. that actually floods the brain and turns on like all the learning centers. I hear what you're saying. People are going to think gratitude and they're going to think fluff, but I'm really trying right. to bring the science and the heart into this. I want, I want people to know both like, yes, it's, it's not all, um, you know, and Mandy Frey, like she's going to be on the evolving with gratitude podcast. And she's like, it's <laughs> yes, yes. For Mandy. And he's a multiple time <laughs> guest on the podcast here. Too. Of course she's awesome and you know she said something to the effect of you know it's not like all you know rainbows and chasing bunnies in a field like it's mm -hmm. apparently Although that would be fun that would be fun mm -hmm. um but it's really much deeper than that